Hey guys, today I'm going to be taking a look at SORS. This is essentially a patient diagnosis simulator where you pose as a doctor and you try to find out what's wrong with a variety of different people who have a variety of different problems. So we're just going to start a new game. It's sort of like Papers, Please, in a sense. Um, yeah, let's just start a new game and we'll do normal. Loading SORS system, enter name to log in. I'll just enter this. First time login detected, please answer security questions to proceed. Murderer, bleeding to death, save or leave? Um, let's leave him. Login accepted. Loading sores. Done. Loading email. Done. Profile. Done. System is ready, doctor. Welcome to... Spatially offset ramen spectroscopy. <laughs> Spatially offset ramen spectroscopy. Alright. So here's you get some messages and they kind of like welcome you to the team. You're the newest recruit. I'll give you a chance. Blah blah blah. So it's a uh, go to the diagnosis guide. Type discharge or D to remove healthy patients. So it goes kind of slowly. It adds more and more uh, mechanics into the game as you move on. So the first thing I'm doing is just uh, essentially sending them away. So this is kind of like the little screen or like laptop that doctors use to uh, type in what condition you have and what uh, prescriptions to give you, like in real life. So this guy is healthy, so I'm going to press D to discharge him or send him away. Right, here's day two, accuracy, data leak, dear all for our systems were hacked. Officially welcome email, source info, blah blah blah. Let's just continue. So now I have to give lifestyle advice. Um, some patients are smokers or alcoholics or just live unhealthily or does not socialize with others or stressed. And I have to find those patients and tell them or give them lifestyle advice instead of discharging them. Later in the game, patients will have a, a variety of different uh, disorders, and you have to uh, diagnose all of them, and you have to be uh, accurate too, or otherwise you'll fail. And in this game, if you fail too much, you get fired. Alright, so observations only eats processed food. Um, I don't know, he seems fine to me. I'm gonna send him away. Uh oh. He needs lifestyle advice. Okay, so I messed up that one. Really drinks 5 plus alcohol units a day, so I'm gonna give lifestyle advice. And I'm going to press P to prescribe um, or finish diagnosis. Prescribe and finish diagnosis. Drinks small amounts regularly. Um, I'm just going to discharge this person because small amounts of alcohol isn't that bad for you. So I missed the first one. I guess uh, only eating processed foods is not good. So I'll have to remember that for next time. Definitely not a doctor in real life. Um, okay, you can, I'm getting random emails. You cannot trust your colleagues. I'm your buddy in case you're wondering, blah blah blah. I'm your real buddy. <laughs> Ignore what Armando says, I'm your real buddy. Blah blah blah, okay. So now I'm, I have to uh, diagnose diabetes. And this little graph shows you that if uh, the glucose cluster on the left side is higher than the, uh, I cannot pronounce that, the, the hob, hobnagoblin, globin cluster, then they have diabetes, and I have to prescribe uh, diabetes. So in this world, most people live in these little skyscrapers, kind of like in the future. Alright. So now what I have to do is I have to use this scanner, and I have to scan their arms. 
If I move it too fast, it'll give me uh, air misleading points. So this person looks healthy. Eats snacks instead of meals. Alright, so this person needs uh, lifestyle advice and prescribe. Occupation professor. Good posture. So the orange dots I don't need to look at. So this guy looks healthy. I'm going to discharge him. Eats fresh fruit and vegetables. Looks so skinny though. Okay, so this person has diabetes. Because the dots on the right are lower than the dots on the left. So, diabetes and prescribe. Face severely wrinkled. That means this person is a smoker. Let's go ahead and check their arms. Looks like they're... they don't have diabetes. Uh, let me get a few more dots on the left side. Okay. Um, lifestyle advice. Prescribe. Wait. Yes. Accuracy 100%. Target 50%. You're almost ready to see real patients. First we want to test you. Your next scanning position will be timed. Your scanning session will be timed. Priority emails. Just want to check in how things are doing, blah blah blah. Sometimes these emails are worth checking out because sometimes you get upgrades and uh, sometimes they talk to you and you can uh, give certain uh, responses. Okay, let's see patients. I'm time I'm timed, so I have a shift timer of five minutes. Yeah, this person has diabetes, pretty sure. Sometimes the dots can be off a little bit though, so I just want to make sure. Yeah, alright. So short of breath. So let's do lifestyle advice, diabetes, and prescribe. Pretty sure in the next stage I'll be able to prescribe insulin shots. This is another step. Quit smoking two years ago. Okay. This person has diabetes. Prescribe. I would hate to be a doctor that just looks at like Americans and see if they have diabetes or not. Just like It'd be nuts how many people in America like have diabetes and just having to tell everybody that you're gonna have to uh, have insulin shots for like the rest of your life unless you uh, start working out. Um, okay, so this person seems healthy, so discharge. Eats occasional takeaway. That's fine. Well, this person has diabetes and prescribe. So I'm just gonna skip a little bit ahead so, so that we don't have to wait three minutes here. Okay, we're back. I didn't actually have to wait uh, three minutes, I just had to see six patients total. But that's okay, I got 100% accuracy, which is great. Diabetes treatments. Now he wants me to give insulin injections, upgrades. Would you like a faster bed or faster scan rate? I'm gonna go with faster bed. So I need to apply bed or scanner, please. Bed. Interesting. You'll save time moving patients more quickly in and out of the room. Sweet. How are things? Drinks tonight? A few of us are going to have drinks in a few minutes. You wanna come along? Yes. Let's 
see you upstairs in the living quarters bar too. All right. And that's all I need. And I'm gonna diagnose this guy and see patients. So I believe I get to see six patients each day now. And I need to keep up a certain percentage of accuracy or else it will fail. And each uh, day it's gonna get harder and harder. So the bed is a lot faster. That's good. Okay, so this person seems healthy, so get out of here. Healthy people coming to the doctor, this is madness. Okay, so this person seems healthy too. So get out of here. Quit smoking two years ago. Child care. Okay, this person has diabetes. So now I need to give this woman a insulin shot. And get out of here. Stab her with the insulin. Eat six small meals a day. That seems fine to me. I don't move this uh, little scanner slowly. It'll keep making the air sound and keep showing orange dots on the screen, which are not good. So this person's healthy. So I think that was number th three, three or four. So you have to see six patients within five minutes. It's not too difficult. Eats fresh fruit and vegetables. This person has diabetes. It'll tell you if you uh, get it wrong. The uh, patients will get mad at you and come back. Regular drinks five alcohol a day. That is really bad. I feel like my dad does that. <laughs> he drinks a lot. Um, Alright, so healthy, just needs lifestyle change, and there we go. Scene 6, target 6, accuracy 100%, status pass. Okay, triggers to do, 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 do. There's going to be a new disease I need to look at called um, osteoporosis and this one I had trouble with last time I played this game um, healthy patients have higher clusters of phosphates and collagen than shown below keep scanning until you compare the cluster heights on your graph with the ones below and decide if the patient has osteoporosis or not alright so basically when I scan their legs, the red dots need to be above these lines. So I have to kind of memorize this chart and make sure that the red dots are above those lines. Kind of wish, kind of want to like take a picture of this and put it on my other monitor, but that's okay. We're just gonna keep going. I think I can kind of memorize what was shown there. Okay, press space to continue. It's kind of creepy that their like feet and arms are just twitching. Rapid rate gain since last appointment. Alright. So this person has uh, diabetes. Let's check their legs out. Oops. Okay, I don't think he has osteoporosis, so I'm going to do lifestyle advice and diabetes and then insulin injection and prescribe. It'd be funny if like in real life instead of seeing doctors you just have like a camera looking at you and like a doctor from like miles away just diagnoses you like this. 
be interesting. Okay, so this person has uh, diabetes. So let's uh, look at their legs. Okay, it looks like they're they're fine. So let's see, high blood pressure. I'm gonna give lifestyle advice. Diabetes. Um, in insulin injection. Treatment selected and key. Hopefully, I did that right. Ah, you correctly prescribed lifestyle advice and diabetes, and these treat. Wait, you missed osp. Oh, he did have ospro. Blah 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 blah. How did I miss it? I guess I need to look at their legs more often. Okay, so I know the red dots on the right side are really low. So this guy has us per blah blah blah. Let's see what this guy has. Nope. Okay, he seems healthy. Heart rate normal. But he has us per so blah blah and prescribed. Osteoporosis. Osteoporosis. Okay, doesn't have diabetes. I think this person has osteoporosis, though. Osteo... I cannot say that. Whatever. I'm just going to call it osteo from now on. And... Prescribe. I know on the bottom right side, it has to go above the first line. The horizontal line on the graph. So, that's sort of how I'm checking it right now. Although, it's probably not the best way. Let me go to the diagnosis guide and just look at this. Um, so this one's around 2. Higher than this in healthy patients. So it has to be higher than this. Slightly higher in healthy patients. Higher than this in healthy patients. Phosphate cluster higher than this in healthy patients. Okay, let's go back to patient. Let's get a few more readings. It said slightly higher, so this person might have, might have it. Let's see if they have uh, diabetes. Nope. I'm gonna prescribe and see. I might got, I might have gotten this wrong. Oh, maybe not. Okay, cool. So it definitely has to be higher than that. Feels depressed. Well, I can give you some lifestyle advice. Well, maybe you're depressed because you have diabetes. Okay, so you have diabetes and you need some lifestyle advice and you need a shot. And push red. Patient scene 6, target 6, accuracy 83. Status pass. Sweet. Press spacebar to continue. So far, I've been enjoying this game. It's really similar to Papers, Please, in the sense that you have to essentially hurry and diagnose each patient within this five minute time period and you need to go through six patients at a time and you kind of have to hurry before the time limit runs out. We have a couple of emergency patients and all the other doctors on the shift are too busy. Can you choose Can you choose one to treat? I hate to have to make you choose, but we're just busy. Uh oh. I have to choose like which one to treat and which one to like die? Which one to leave and on the street? Of course, if you don't want to take either, just ignore this mail completely, but I hope you don't do that. <laughs> That's funny. Has several cuts but haven't healed in a while. Tired, thirsty, and frequently episode of Thrush? Frequent episodes of Thrush. I don't know what that is. Suspected multiple bone fractures. They keep saying they have. they can give us something if we help them. Okay, we're doing patient two. They can give me something, then I'm treating patient two. Okay, they'll be sent over. Okay, cool. New osteo treatment. Now I want you also to prescribe follow-up scans if patients are 50 or older. Okay, so now I have to see their age. If they're 50 or older, they need follow-up scans for osteo. Osteoporosis. 
Congratulations. I've spoken to Dr. King based on your progress. She's happy you promoted out of training. This does mean you'll be sending new patients rather than training patients, so their conditions won't be known ahead of time. This means bad scan points will be the same color as good scan points. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Okay. So all the scan points are going to be the same this time, so I have to be careful not to look at the orange or the uh, bad ones. Do you want to play some games? Tell me the answer. Just type it into the easy one to start. Who performed the first adult heart transplant? Well, I got Google to help me. Christian Bernard. Success. Nice one, pal. I'll send you a tip. Alright. Okay, seems good. And let's see patience. Obviously seven today. Crap. Seven and five minutes, uh oh. Oh that was, okay, I can't look at that. Okay, so this person has diabetes. I think they have osteoporosis as well. Okay. So you have face wrinkled. Okay, lifestyle do okay, diabetes, you need insulin shot. Okay, they're over fifty-five. So that's a B. Let's go back. You need osteoporosis. Uh in, you need a follow-up scan because you're over fifty, and prescribe. Man, that person has all sorts of problems. Okay, I'm pretty sure this person has osteoporosis. Let's go to the arms. They have diabetes too. Yellow stain on fingers and teeth. So I think these guys, this person has everything too. So let's go here. But she doesn't need a follow up scan because she's 49. Injection. Yes. And prescribe. I've only done two in like two minutes. God dang. I need to hurry up. Watch four plus hours of TV every night. You need lifestyle advice. Okay, we're going to see if you need diabetes. Yes, you need diabetes. Uh, let's look at your legs. Oh, what happened? Man, is everybody sick? Okay, uh, yes. In. Yes. Yes. Subscribe. So this person has it as well, I believe. Yeah, okay, so let's look at your arms. Man, all these people are terrible. What's wrong with everybody? They're all sick and dying. She's 83, so she needs follow-up scans. How many have I done so far? Three? Four? like I'm not gonna make it. Okay, so she seems healthy, feeling stressed. Okay, you need lifestyle advice, osteoporosis, and you need some follow-up scans, day two, and prescribe. Okay, I think I need one or two more patients. Is 
Does everyone have osteoporosis, or am I just like getting lucky? Okay, so this person has black gums, so I think it has everything. Yep. Uh-oh. Oh, I didn't need a follow-up scan. He was under 50. Man, I, f I totally forgot. Oh, shit. Okay. Okay, so this person has diabetes. Hunches that work does. Okay, need this, need this. And I think you have this too. So, in. Hope I did fail that one too. Okay, yes, I did it. I missed one. So, 85% passed. Success. Space to leave. I think you've passed training. I think you might be ready, but I need to test you. I need to know you're competent. And you need to see what I can do. You need to see what I can do. Alright, so I think I might end it here. I just want to see if anything changes, because he's just like, I, w I need to see what what I can do. Welcome to your first proper test. Let's see what this is. For space, space to see patients. I can easily hack into the system. Question is, how good are you? And have you been paying attention? How good are you? Uh oh. Crap. <sighs> no. Uh. B. Removes. Okay, remove. Okay, so the first one. Oh my god. The second one is. Oh, I'm so confused right now. So someone's hacking into my system. Okay, this person has that. Oh my god. Hide they cannot hide things from us. One P He's changing all the text on my screen. What? You correctly prescribed diabetes and these treatments? You missed Oster Oh my gosh. There's not even option three on the thing. I guess I'm just gonna have to do it blind. So this person has diabetes. Okay, so you have diabetes and you need a shot. I can't believe you have to do this blind. You, you, you have to remember all the text from before and do this blind. Alright. So, this person has diabetes. And osteoporosis. And she's 79. Um, watches 4 hours of TV every night. So, 1, 2, 3. Even though 3 is not even an option. And go over here and. Insulin, two, what was two? Two is checkup, right? What is three? Oh, I don't even know what three is. I don't even think there is a three. Let's uh, just press P. Oh, this hacker, hacking into my freaking console. I would quit if I was a doctor. I'd be like, I can't do this. <laughs> this person's healthy, goes for runs. Okay, I'm pretty sure 
sheer he has or he has a uh, I don't know sheer he <laughs> pretty sure he, okay osteoporosis osteo he has it so let's uh three in two P <laughs> kind of just doing this blind it's pretty crazy So this person has osteo amidst the heavy drinking. Okay, but he's healthy. So one, three, in, two. Wait, what was one? One's insulin shot. Two is, okay, P. Two is checkups. I have to do this all from memory. It's pretty, pretty nuts. This is the last patient, I'm pretty sure. So, they have diabetes. And the last one. So, eats mostly takeaways and fast food. Okay, you need lifestyle advice, diabetes. Three in one. To pee. Oh man, 15 seconds left. That was close. Accuracy 83%. Nice. I only missed one. Status pass. Is a freaking hacker in the system? We got a sudden influx of patients. The current doctors on call could really use some help. Yes. Great. Go and see patients ASAP. Recent firings, as you're aware, past few months, a few issues with doctors. Some have had to be let go after seriously endangering patients' lives. Alright, so I think I'm going to conclude this little video here. This is just a quick look at SORS, and I already forgot what that stood for, but it's a pretty cool uh, patient diagnosis simulator. Sort of like Papers, Please. So if you like Papers, Please, you might like this, and it's pretty fun. I, I enjoyed it. So. Yeah, I'll leave a link in the description below if you want to see it on Steam, and hope you guys have a great day.